Hello everyone and welcome back to the Griffin Riders of Marhold. This should be episode 8. There, in the description there will be a playlist if this is the first one, so you can go back to the beginning. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, yeah, in the last one we did a couple wars that weren't really in our favor at all. We helped Kavoria fight against these elves. Why? I, I don't know what they were fighting for. I, don't really, I didn't really care. And then we helped defend Hammerhome against all of these orcs over here. Yeah, there were way too many of them, so I kind of just white pieced out. They ended up taking this province off of Hammerhelm. But that also but joining in their war, defended our provinces, liberated our province. Yeah, that made it so that they had enough opinion of me to become my vassal. So it all worked out? Question mark? I I, I, I guess it's fine. I guess it worked out fine. So we're gonna use them to expand over here. Um we also took on a lot of debt because that war was expensive. Like how much debt are we in? Yeah. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. We'll be fine. This is why these forts are off when I usually don't do that. Trade power. No, give me that. Give me all your trade. Thank you. Hmm. Interesting. Sounds like you need to get insulted. Right, and we are working on cults converting all these provinces because I don't care that they are someone else. Yeah, you're just gonna drill. It's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of lot of things expired. That's fine. That's totally fine. Increase the dwarven tolerance. Of course, of course, they're gonna be increased. Yeah, hammer home. Go deal with them. Yeah, they're fighting these little guys down there. I don't really care, honestly. If they end up coming into my land, I will turn these guys on and go kill them. But in the meantime, Hammerhelm can just do whatever they want. Right, right. I have rebels that I have to deal with. Oh, you're dealing with them for me. Help you out. Thank you. Half-orc minority created. Well, these things happen. That's how you get half-orcs. Yeah, um... Apparently, this is Shattered Crown, and they're very big. Where did I see that? I think it was in here. Yeah, Shattered Crown. They're big. They're, um, really scary orcs. I'm just surrounded by orcs. That is a lot of orcs. Are these guys emerald already? Yes, it looks like they're already emerald. Whereas those guys are black orcs. Yeah. These guys are scary. These guys are less scary, but they join together. I don't like that. And these guys are scary. So I'm surrounded on all sides by the scary. Folktale and Superstition. These are people saying the Cardesti are weird for having weird customs. I'm like, fine. Be nice. I don't care. We are getting Cardesti minorities. And move somewhere else, please. Where are they going to go? I just want to want a province that's good. If they're not a province that's good, I'll just keep them there. But they're not trying to province that's good. That's the problem. Oh, look, it's time to go help. Military divided. Let's do siege ability, please. Yeah, go kill someone, please. Yeah! Treason against Marhold. Nobility. You're supposed to be my guys. How dare you. Oh, they got naval superiority. Well, I can't help with that. Unity of faith. Thank you, game, for the free stability. I appreciate that a lot. It is time for the tech. And I have enough left for ideas, so we're going to do that. Tons of the true faith. So nice. So, so nice. Military commissions. Well, the nobility, once again, is, uh... Take us right out of the sticks. I'm not losing more army tradition. Alright. How big are my loans? Way too big. <laughs> They're way too big. I don't have... I don't have money. I just don't have enough money. Ever. Yeah. Oh, we got idea cost. Very nice. Would you look at that? Let's take court ideas one. And that gives me this. Every Marodic local knows of the secret paths and shortcuts throughout their land. And the army regularly uses these to quickly flank an unsuspecting enemy nation. 
The most important battle where these routes were utilized occurred when a Witch King of Blade Marches marched his forces to Marhold to try and conquer the nation. The Marhold militia was able to cross through secret tunnels. I was just thinking about secret tunnels. While the capital was being sieged, and by morning, the Blade Marcher King found himself cut off from his supply line and surrounded on both sides. The subsequent surrender of the Blade Marches shocked all of Kanor, and Marhold gained immense prestige as a nation nigh impossible to siege. Historians later dubbed this the Death Ring of Marvale, where the tunnel fortification formations that the troops used having a ring-like shape around the city of Marvale. Uh, cool. That gives me landleader maneuver. Cool. Hey, look at that. We got new forts. Those are frontline forts, though. Eh, this one's fine. I'm not sure about those. But it looks like these are starting to uh, be the right. It's starting to be right. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep these guys as. We'll keep those guys as they are. Looks like they're trying to come in again. Because they didn't learn the lesson. You want to help? Why are you like this? Y'all are weak and indecisive. Ooh, new thing. Yes. Um, which one of these is the most important? Probably conversion? How are we looking over here? Have the orcs converted yet? One of them has. I'll grab that. One of the orcs has converted. The rest haven't. Of course you did. Ah, but you have converted. That probably helped. You'll convert eventually. You'll convert eventually. What's the percentage in those? 31. Yeah, let's just go get their fort. No, looks like I'm not on the fort. So Gelivar over here. Good guys. Oh, they got a beautiful underground cave. Good for them. Raven March wants some marriage. Yes, please. <sighs> hey, Raven March. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do the funny thing again. Would you please? Would you please? Would you please? I know you love me. That's right, we're doing the funny again. I like to rival. Oh, Kavoria. Anatomical theater. Um, yeah, we're gonna grab the innovativeness on that one. That's fine. Huh. Church of the Elves is done. Cool. Let's go. Fight. It's my siege? Good. Get out. That was really fast. Wow. Crimson Deluge. There it is. As the prophets of Corin spread her message across the continent, what can only be described as an apocalyptic scene has transpired in many parts of the Empire. The sky would darken as if about to rain, only to open and release a torrent of blood onto the unsuspecting citizens. Horrified, crowds of people rushed through the streets, trying to escape the plasma showers. Many were crushed and trampled as they attempted to escape what could only seem to be the end of the world. Whether someone acknowledges Corrin or Adian as their divine mother or father, all agree this is irrefutable evidence of a bloody and terrible war in the heavens themselves. It is only a matter of time that the rivers are not fed by the blood of gods, but by the blood of men. Yeah, since I'm Corrinite, I actually get I actually gain stability from this, so that's pretty cool. Um, I believe it's under here in triggered modifiers. Where is that? History. Huh? They get rid of that button. the triggered modifiers button ended up? Is it in the log? No. What's in this? Zoom in, zoom out. Never use these buttons, you know? Always use shortcuts. Huh. Wait. I thought I saw it. Design keyboard shortcut. Huh. I'll find it eventually. There's a thing. 
Anyway, I need you to turn on because Crimson Deluge gives me devastation in these areas. Yeah. You just gotta have ports. On Crimson Wings, Crimson Deluge is active. And I can be either Region Court or Coronite. Which is why I was having trouble, trouble deciding earlier. But I think Coronite fits better. Considering how that we fought alongside Corrin. As the skies... Well, we kind of did. Some of us did. Some of us didn't. As the skies have turned red and, and rains blood... Many in our country have fallen into hysteria, preaching that it's a sign of Corrin's battle to claim the throne of the gods. No matter the cause, we shall weather the storm, soaring over the clouds. National unrest for 20 years. Cool. Our men march to war. We need to be a member of one of the leagues. Cool. Ah, it's not my siege. Boo. Go siege him down. Alright, let's see. Uh, you're gonna go there. You're going up there. And you two can come over here. Yeah, repay one of the loans. I only afford one, which is why we are doing this war. Why we're actually participating. 36%. Good enough. Oh. Yeah, they were there before me. It's fine. Not a big deal. We use our cannon. Coronite Firebrand. A preacher has appro uh, appeared in Marhill, preaching with great fervor about the war of the gods and Corrin's justice, spurring people into action for Corrin. Nice. Did not get enough money. Why... Modern Tolerance of half works. Why would you possibly... Why would you ever decide to go through the Deep Woods? I don't care that it's faster. You will take attrition. 500 points. Wonderful. Give me the ideas. Prestige, Development, Missionary, and Coronite, Paragon, Hood, Decay. Cool. In this, I get... Estates are loyal. Very nice. We are plenty ahead of time. And there's a truce gone. Cool. Very nice. And if we look at Devastation... Haha, <laughs> these guys suck. I don't. I'm the only one who doesn't have Devastation. <laughs> I prepared. I decided to spend money. How much longer do we have on this? Because I think we're going to need to do it one more time. Oh, that's this year. Good. Yeah, we're going to need to sell these again. I need money. Really bad. Alright. Not just for that, but I think I have enough for a second stack yet. No, not quite. I do need that second army, though. How much does it cost in maintenance? 14. I cannot afford that. Of course I can't. So instead, we're going to get rid of loans. Get rid of the bad ones. Where are you? Well, we got rid of two of them. <sighs> hmm. Now, who would help me in this war? You would not. They're allied to them. You wouldn't because you suck. How about you? Haha, <laughs> all of them would. Breaking truce. When's that truce done? Next year. Good, good. Right here, actually. This is uh, four of next year. All right, cool. You can wait that long. Coronite Fire Rand, once again. Very nice. Furious Flagellant's Frenzy. The Crimson Deluge is driving many people to madness. A small group has started whipping themselves in the streets, driving others towards radical action. Very cool. Uh, if we look at Devastation, yeah, it's everywhere except for Lankinor and Dragon Coast, you know. Oh, conversions. Ashnod has declared on Wax. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. You're you're the emperor, and you got declared on. The emperor got declared on by a member of the empire. That's crazy. That never happens. That, like, rarely happens. Revelian Society. I don't think we want Revelians. I don't think we want Revelians. Rain hits capital building. The skies of Marhold have been clear recently, until heavy rain from the Crimson Deluge struck at our capital... 
building specifically, sparing the, the rest of the capital. This must mean the Corn approves of our leadership. Very cool. Oh, they're coming for me. Oh, another Hammer Home Surface. They're good. And Devastating Rain. As the Crimson Deluge continues, life is disrupted for everyone. Rain damages buildings, but worse, causes mass hysteria on the streets, devastating our province. It's fine. It's fine. Sickness of the king. Uh, yeah, make the nobility happy. They can pay less taxes. Not a big deal. Uh, let's do allies. And neighbors. Cool. Research flawed. Uh, wrong. Oop, it's time. Here's the question. Did they convert yet? They did not. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Because we're going to get everyone on my side on this one. Oh, yes. They still have so many more. That's crazy. Why, it, why are they so big? Oh, my goodness. I can't afford this. I can't afford this war. I can't afford to go to war with anyone around me. That's awful. I can't afford to declare on anyone. I'm going to declare on you. That'll work. That'll do. I can steal money from you. Just doing privileges, I guess. I can afford this at least. Rain hits capital building. Very cool. Devastating rain. Uh, okay. It's fine. I got points. It's not a big deal. Uh, an exile. Uh, yeah, screw that guy. Ah, cross time caper once again. Reinforcements from the future. Um, yeah, take the morale of armies. Admin points. Can I please get this land? Venture to defeat goblins. Very nice. And coronate justice. Very cool. That's one of them gone. Court in need of renovation. <laughs> oh, that's a fun court event. Over the years, the royal court of Marhold has seen much has seen much use, yet little care. Once, What once used to be the jewel of Marotic culture is now nothing but a source of shame. Ugh, 30 prestige is a lot. 60 crowns, I can afford that. Alright, I got what I want. Where are your cores? That one? Cool. I'm going to... We're just gonna do that. Yeah, you can go live in the mountain now. I don't care. Yeah, go live in the mountain. It really doesn't bother me. Are you ready? Cool. Give me your money. Oh, I need that money, actually. We're gonna take all your money. You got a lot of mountain land. Kill them. Very cool. That's fine. We'll deal with them later. It caused a little bit of devastation, but that's not really a problem. So deal with them. Oh, fun. Well advised. Is that the air? Yes, it is. Good air. Oh, they're actually keeping this guy. So 254, that's why. No, they decided to come back. Would you like to die? Growth of the printing industry. Game. Land tech useless. Uh, work for Growth of the printing industry, yep. So, printing press has spawned in the Gnomish hierarchy. Good for them. They are actually surviving more and more often in this patch. I'm enjoying that, because this is a much better balance of power. The hierarchy, Gawed, and Laurent are all balancing each other out. Much better that way. Cool, printing press is here. Are you willing to give me all your money? And war reps? No. Because I gotta kill you then. That is a war wizard in a cave... Tech difference of two techs. I should probably take them. 
Oh, they're gonna run. Good. That means they know I'll win. I did not expect a stack wipe. All right, 99. Very good. Give me all your money. Uh, do I care about that? Yes, I do. Because that's going to be my land soon. Thank you. Yeah, let's grab this province. Then we need to... I don't really gonna need to do this. Oh, I need money. But I can only do it here because there's orcs or something. It's gonna go one over the force. That's not the problem. The problem is, that number is too low. But I suppose we gotta. Who is the cheapest spot? 44? 44? Zero. Yeah, that one. Going one over the force limit. You get to have your own general. Very nice. You're drilling, and you're drilling. And now we're going to be making absolutely zero money. Look at that. Zero money, basically on the dot. Woo! Uh, I have no money. Makes me sad. Steady pour of red. The Crimson Deluge does, does more than direct damage. For Blades Keep, it has instead been a never-ending downpour that is drowning crops and forcing people to stay inside. Those that go outside go mad. No work is getting done. Help them through it. Lose 30 crowns. Or they can suck it. Um, nah. Let's help them out. Devastating rain. Long-term grudge comes to fruition. Uh, dwarves are bad. They have long-term grudges. And someone did something about it. It's fine. An advisor's dead. Religious tradition gives me country, opinion of country, other countries of the same religion. There we go. It's time. I think I might as well just grab the day's fault. Let's see, culture conversion costs two. Very cool. Then we'll grab the one court idea, which is yearly prestige. All right, what do we got here? Curbing the tyrants of the serpent spine. By 1650, trade from dwarves to humans was finally controlled by an alliance between the two biggest dwarven kingdoms in the northern serpent spine, Amaldir and Ernatvir. Smaller dwarven holds and adventurer kingdoms had to pay hefty taxes in order to trade goods with each other. In the 17th century, however, the grand reopening of Marhold Tunnel changed and boosted trade between dwarves and humans. Suddenly, many serpent spine dwarves found an alternative path for exporting and importing goods. Marhold became a powerful trading hub whose markets were filled with all sorts of dwarven and human goods. A reward for ending Amaldir and are not fair. Oh, ending their supremacy. Trade efficiency. Very nice. And I have policies that I can do. National unrest, military, missionary strength. Sounds wonderful. Uh, zero money. I make no money. I stack no paper. But I need this to defend myself so I can actually go and get these guys. I'm making just barely money. And I will need to develop a uh, printing press somewhere. That's expensive. It's gotta be somewhere over here. Yeah. Probably gonna be over here in Drysdale. Uh, depth cost. Yeah. We're gonna grab a couple points here. Get those up just a bit. You up to 15, sounds good. And then you do that for now. No, that's good. This is where we're going to spawn it, and it's going to use this to spread over. Furious Flagellants, good for them. Very nice. Convert their lands, please. Nope, there's a loan. Well, if we got the loan, I might as well grab a guy. Once you core all this land, I will be going to war. Devastating rain. Cool. Yeah, there's not, not really any need. Look at that. All marodic. Look at me. So nice. 
Wexenards are down. Wow. That wasn't a Null Province. This one was. This one I would expect. But no, they actually just culture converted it. That's crazy. I didn't expect that. AI doesn't really culture convert too much. I guess they're doing that today. Huh. Interesting. Small Orcish Raid. Great. Thanks, game. Appreciate that. Yeah, with that much, it's going to be a dev cost, please. Uh, hmm. I'm going to make you a manpower one. That sounds fine. Improve the capital. Uh, military as a workforce, please. That sounds great. Inquisitor's dead. Eh. Oh, we got a new one. Ooh, this one I might actually be able to make money with. Please? No, minus 10. Why? Why? Why am I losing so much money? Uh, it's like it's just like that, huh? Is it missionary maintenance? No, we're not doing anything. Hey, Vernum converts to Cornet. Good for you. The Green Orcs get to stay Green Orcs. It's everyone else that needs to change. Common Goblins can also stay Common Goblins. But everyone else needs to change. Look at that. And the candor. And oh, those guys haven't changed yet. These are still Redfoots. But all of the other ones have updated. Interesting. Yeah, we need to do this war soon. Uh, let's see. What is it looking like currently? They still have notably more than us. They still have notably, notably more than us. But if I also, but also if I don't take it, then it's going to be worse. So, hmm. do I do a reconquest war or this? We'll have to do this one. Did they convert to Coronite? Yes, they did. I think we got to do it. I think we just got to go for it. Nope, oh, there goes buildings. No, 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 no. We'll just let it be for now. We'll just let it be for now. I don't think I can. If I do this... I'm sorry, what? That's so dumb. Anyway, we gotta call everyone in. Going to do a regular conquest, I think I have to. I think I have to do a regular conquest for this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have land in the mountains. I don't care about your land in the mountains. Temples ransacked. In the chaos of the deluge, several temples across our domain have been ransacked. The perpetrators cannot say if it was in the name of Corin or Edian, or just deluge-induced madness. The priesthood has insisted we pay for the repair. Do we do, or... That's a lot of money. That sucks. Found ya. Corzin? Nope. Well, got their army. Good deal with that. Image of Corrin, painted in blood. A, for a farmer near Marhold has reported finding an image of Corrin painted in the blood blood rain in her field. Is it a sign from the gods? Uh, Morale of armies. Nice. We take those. Okay, let's hopefully get something done here. Which one did I go for? I went for that one. And why did I go for Conquest instead of Monstrous Conquest? Or Anti-Monstrous Conquest? Well, I don't think we can win. Just straight up. Yeah, good deal with that. This one, too. We have plenty of points. It's fine. Merchant Effects. Um, we're canceling these, please. This is fine. I'm going to put you on Defensive, please. And we lost a guy. Fort defense. Sounds great. Okay, we got Westgate. Nice. Kill. Into Castanor, please. Do I have claims on them yet? I still have the one claim because it's permanent, I think. 
Yeah, I let my claim slip. That's fine. <sighs> is it worth going for that one or that one? I think we're gonna just gonna have to take the fight. Four corns justice. I will take it. And we got Gluehill. Ooh. Nah, great. Oh well. How are we doing on this? Surprisingly not that bad. And front lane has broken. Time to retreat. We did some good damage to them. Wow. Especially for having such a small army. You may come on down. And kill. There we go. That's what we like to see. Shattered Crown wants through. They're going after Irvixton. What? What is going on over here? I, got, I gotta find out. I gotta find out what's going on over there. Grumbar. They're in a personal union. Oh. Oh. Oh, right. Right. Do we know who Shattered Crown is? Because we do. So, in Shattered Crown's mission tree, they actually get to do a, um... What's that orc battle called? It's like a, um... Basically, the orcs have a thing where they can, um, request a duel to become the leader of another orc tribe. And in Sh Shattered Crown's mission tree, they have a mission to do that to Grumbar. <laughs> and they get a personal union over him. It's crazy. There are way too many of them there. Hey, look at that. Die, please. Very cool. Now you two get to go over there. Yeah, I need to. I need to know what's going on over there. At this point, I just need to know what's going on over there. I do not have any access to West Castanor. However, I do have access to get into the Serpent Spine if I'm nice. Can I? Mm, probably not. I can at least see what's in the Serpent Spine. At least see what's going on over there. There we go. That's a better fight. Queen Consort of the People. I don't have the money for that. Sorry. Okay. Let's go get this fort. Die. This one's a wooded fort. You get to die too. You might actually. Yeah, that was good damage. Okay, what are the losses looking like? Eh, it's pretty good for us. Pretty good for us. Okay. Start working these guys out of here. Okay. You. I want that province. Well, that's... Oh, you're not going to give me that. Whoa. Ho, 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 ho. Look at me. I'm Mr. I'm Mr. Moneybags over here. I'm not going to give you 27 worth worth. Well, you will. Maybe not yet, but you will. Cabin of Curiosities. I don't have the money. I'll take the I'll take the temple. Chaos at the court. That's a fun event. Although it started very promising, this year's meeting of the Great Estate is a complete disaster. The organization of the court was not thorough, and many guests, which have vendettas against each other, have been invited to the same room. The king was not paid attention to, as the powerful and influential of the estates were too busy with their own petty squabble. Thanks, game. Appreciate that. It's not that. It's not that bad. I don't want to. Cornet minorities in favored. Maniacs. Corn's most zealot followers in favored have taken up arms against their unbelieving neighbors. While their devotion to the faith is admirable, this time these zealots have gone too far. Is conversion on pain of do death truly corn just corn's justice? Well, 50% chance this changes. Hey. There you go. But it looks like we have gone over time. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope to see you next time.